Okay, on this third video, I'm gonna work on the buildings and um, I would imagine that the light is coming on the right hand side. The one I'm copying from uh, is more overcast, but uh, there are times when I make paintings or when I make a painting, I would decide uh, I'll change the atmosphere. Uh, this time I'm gonna decide that the light is coming on the right hand side. I'll use my uh, my Chinese brushes, calligraphy brushes. I use the same brush. I use the same paper. I use the same uh, watercolor paint. So, uh, my intention is to darken the upper section, but when I do it, I'm going to try to finish it. I'm going to put the medium values and even the dark values and loosen it up at the same time. This is probably um, the most difficult part of water, watercolor painting. Uh, when you start, you gotta know exactly what you'll be doing before you begin. You can't be guessing. We, I'm gonna do it all in one, I'm gonna attack it all in one, one setting. So, I'm going to mix a blue, I'm going to put a and crimson and more blue, till I get the right color, more blue or more red. I think right there. See, I want you to notice that there isn't much water here. So the light is coming on the right hand side, so watch me do this. I'll take my other brush. I'm gonna get a paint gray. And then I'm gonna loosen it up. Watch. See how I did this? That's it. <laughs> and, and since the section here should be a little darker, I could get a, a little bit more paint gray with the mix I'm gonna add to show the, uh, I guess, uh, the beams. And now,
for the middle section, of course, I was using uh, orange. I'm going to add a little sienna. All right. And then a little bit of blue, ultramarine blue. That would darken it. Watch. And since the light is coming on the right hand side, I mellow that with a little bit of water. Uh, I'm gonna get that paint gray. Loosen it up. See how I just hit that with all right. And now for the bottom section, I'm gonna make it a little darker. So I'm gonna add a little bit more ultramarine blue to the mix. Okay. I uh, try not to hit the boats. Maybe a little pink gray. it up or I, sometimes I would splash a little water to it okay um, so I'm gonna do the same thing uh, on the right hand side. Remember that the light is coming on the right hand side, so uh, I'm not gonna add a lot of darks there. I'm gonna use the ultramarine blue as I did earlier, but this time because of the value, uh, it won't be as dark. And over here is just very light values. Um, just create whatever you like here. Maybe another tower there. That's not so boring. Do you see what I'm doing? If I want to uh, 
add a little value here. Um, so I make them three dimensional. Um, but that's pretty much it. And uh, again, I'm loosening it up. And uh, perhaps Well, there's my building right there. I'm trying to cut some of the edges. Okay, um, maybe uh, because I'm working on the building, I should go ahead and uh, maybe do the tower. Remember, I, I gotta consider the value here. All one stroke. All right. Okay. Um, that's for the building, uh, and then we're gonna work on the next video. We're gonna work on the water.